This video is going to cover the topic of graphing in four quadrants. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of your page. The essential question for this video will be, how do we graph in all four quadrants? We have worked a lot with coordinate graphs. We have worked with coordinate pairs, as well as the x and y axis. But did you know that all the work we've done has been in just a small part of the coordinate graph? In fact, we've only used one-fourth of the entire graph, to be exact. There are three other sections to a coordinate graph that we have yet to explore. This video is going to let us take a look at those other sections. Here's a picture of a coordinate graph that we have been working with. Go ahead and make sure you have this copied in your journal. We know that we can plot the point 3, 4, for example, by marking it here. Right? Here's our point 3, 4. That's nothing new. But we also, by now, have learned that we can extend our number line. And by extending our number line, we are going to grow our coordinate graph. So we just need to remember that our x-axis is really just a number line. And I can make my number line go below zero. Go ahead and add the number line to the left of zero. With my number line in place, I also want to go ahead and just label these points, or these spots, on my x-axis, starting at negative one and decreasing. Now I have two sections in my graph. So if I wanted to, I could plot the point negative three, four, and that would be right here because it's negative 3 on this number line on the x-axis and 4 on the y-axis. But there's more to the coordinate graph than even just these two sections. We can also extend the number line that is the y-axis into negative numbers. So I'm going to make my number line for my y-axis now. Sorry, there's my y. My y-axis go down just like on a thermometer the temperature goes down below zero vertically, I can extend my number line vertically below zero. And of course, I still need to mark these numbers, so I have negative one, negative two, and so on for these lines. And as always, I'm using the lines, not the spaces in between, to mark my numbers. With that line, I now have all four sections to my graph, and I could have coordinate points in any of these sections. So I could have a point right here, and this point would be negative 5 on the x and negative 3 on the y. I could also put a point right here. Right? This would be a 1, positive 1, on my x-axis and a negative 5 on my y-axis. Now that we've seen all four sections, of our coordinate graph, we're just going to talk about how we name these sections. These sections are actually called quadrants. Quad is the prefix for four, so that makes sense because there are four sections to my coordinate graph. Quadrants are the four sections of our graph. We number our sections so that we can keep them straight and we can reference them and other people can know which one we are talking about if we're talking about a quadrant. The basic section that we've always used is called quadrant one. From there, we number them by going counterclockwise. So to the left, we have quadrant two. Maybe I should put a little mark around here so you can see quadrant one, quadrant two. Then, if we continue counterclockwise, in the bottom left-hand corner, we have quadrant three. And then, our final quadrant, here in the bottom right, is quadrant four. Notice too, or you might have noticed, that we use Roman numerals when we are numbering our quadrants. So it looks like an I, a double I, triple I, and then IV, but it really means one, two, three, and four. And that's just kind of a customary tradition with math to use Roman numeral. Now that we have the basic terminology for the coordinate graph, let's try plotting a few points. Go ahead and draw a four coordinate graph. 
We'll only go out as far as 6 on the positive sides on both x and y, and negative 6 on both x and y in the negative quadrant. And I'm seeing here, I'm going to add my y right there. I'll go ahead and write down a few coordinate points here in the margin, and then I'd like you to pause the video and try plotting them. So here I have recorded some coordinate points. At this time, pause the video, plot the points, and then when you're ready, unpause the video and see how you did. How'd you do? Are your points in the correct quadrants? We're going to be practicing this a lot in the coming days in class, but remember that the essential question for the video was how do we graph in all four quadrants? We've now seen that there are four quadrants and they are numbered one, two, three, and four. And we've seen now that we can plot our coordinate points in all four quadrants.